Okay, welcome. Today I'm going to be offering a reflection about rage, and in particular with men, and talking about in relationship as well. So, enjoy. So, I spoke last week about in men, that men hold a lot of grief. And another of the things that we hold that we don't really share, we don't welcome, is rage. And I'm going to be talking today just a little bit about, you know, the importance of meeting our rage as men, rather than either suppressing it or projecting it out onto the world. So, I have to say that I grew up as a very angry young man, but I internalized it. And I really, it started to come to a head in my mid-twenties where the rage started to come out. I wasn't projecting it out onto people, but I was starting to physically harm. So I was self-harming. Uh, and it's like I see, you know, and I worked through it, worked with therapists, and I worked with Jungian analysts, and I've seen my videos, my dreams, I lived in a Buddhist monastery, and I started to work on that, that anger, that rage. And, yeah, I really see with men is, I've mentioned this as well, spoken about feeling emasculated. It's like, I see that in masculinity there's not that initiation that we don't get shown how to go from being a boy into a man so we kind of feel like we're in a man's body but we we've not been told how to be a man we've not been taught about the king energy the warrior the magician the lover and therefore you know this anger we we, we kind of have this undercurrent of rage and i was listening to a tony robbins talk it was a few months probably last year and in it he asked his audience which was about 2,000 people of the women in the group there was about a thousand there he said which of you have felt unsafe in the past month and about 80 to 90 95 percent put their hands up said yes I've felt unsafe in the last month um, and then he asked the men can you also say put your hands up who here has felt unsafe physically, you know, um, wandering around, you know, in the last month? And of the 1,000 men there, uh, about two or three put their hands up. And I see that sometimes as men, we can take this for granted that, um, uh, you know, when we're feeling angry, when we're feeling that rage, especially in relationships, that, you know, our partner can feel unsafe. And the chances are she does. And therefore it's so important for us to take full responsibility that it's not, I'm not one who says that rage is wrong, wrath is wrong, anger is wrong. Maybe wrath, I, I don't know. It's, but it's more what we do with these energies. I feel that if we feel angry, we feel it. You know, where is it in my body? Feeling it. Acknowledging this is what I feel. What I don't recommend is then we act out of that space. So I feel angry and then I'm going to shout at my wife. I feel angry and then I'm going to uh, hit someone. It's like, no, that's, that, that's kind of, that's too far. It's like we have to, you know, there's either suppressing where we just go, oh, I've not got a problem, but it just bubbles up. It bubbles up until it can either manifest as sickness or an explosion. And they say in Chinese medicine that the, the anger lives in the liver. And when we, it's suppressed, it becomes depression. And you know, when it's, it, there's too much, it, you know, it externalizes anger. So it's like really important. And it's interesting that you know, alcoholics, you know, that's the part which is damaged. The, the liver it's like suppressing of anger when we're drinking it's like rather than feeling it embracing it it's like this is my power as man you know this is what it feels like you know obviously 
you know, women as well, this relates, but, you know, I, I'm really talking to men here because I see that men, you know, it's like we, we hide from our anger rather than going, this is, this is actually a really powerful energy. And what I recommend is like channeling it. It's like to feel it. You know, not to go and blah, 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 get into a rage, punching things, like a punch bag or whatever, although that's a better way than hurting anyone else. It's like to feel that, but to channel it, to, to you, to create, you know, maybe it's to sing, it's to dance, you know, it is to work out, to feel that. But I find when we kind of hit the punch bag, or we get rage, it's like we then feel depleted afterwards. It's like to feel it. It's like, this is my life force. And I mentioned last few weeks ago about this, you know, when you see uh, a ram or you see a bull, you see a stallion, it's like the male energy, it's like powerful. But where do we see men like that? Who are, you know, you, you walk in a field with a ram, he's not running at you, but he's just, boom, he's there. And, you know, when I'm walking dogs, the dogs just <laughs> don't need to do anything. They're just going to walk really far around. Them. And it's like, boom, he's ram, he's there. He's no messing. And I feel when we feel that rage, when we feel that anger, it's like, you know, we don't need to rage at anybody. It's just like feeling our power, connecting to the warrior energy, the king energy. It's like, hmm. You know, feeling that within us, that life force. So, just a few reflections, you know, if you're feeling angry, you're feeling that rage, then to know that it's okay and to, to channel it into something creative, into something physical and, you know, channel it into getting fit, getting strong becoming more present so you can be there for your partner and this is yeah the last bit is like when you do this then when you come back to your your partner you are there for them you're you're not projecting the anger you've dealt with your anger you have acknowledged it it's like yeah this is mine I'm not going to suppress it I'm not going to dump it on her I'm just going to be with this uh, yes, I hope this helps, and please do, as always, leave any comments, any questions you have, and um, yeah, many blessings, and uh, yeah, have an amazing week. I'll see you on Friday.